Carve Sally Cole from Sky has been tweeting. He said Chelsea closing in on Maresca. Uh, Chelsea mm. have been impressed by depth and breadth of his knowledge about their squad in talk <laughs> with his representative. I'd love to analyse that tweet and say to him, how do you know that? Did somebody well, from the meeting come to you and say, we were very impressed with him on this, blah, blah, well, blah? He probably has been speaking yeah. to people uh, in the frame. So, they love uh, a brief, it, don't they, these people? It looks like... It looks like he's off to uh, Chelsea. So where does that leave Leicester City? Let's speak to our man in the East Midlands, Leicester City supporting Jeff Peters. Hi, Jeff. Good afternoon to you, lads. I don't think Enzo will be at the King Power Race Day at Leicester Race no, Course. For the uh, race, and, no, this and, afternoon. Yeah, 3, 3.40, by the way, the Filbert Fox EBF Novice Stakes. Oh, yes, oh, I noticed that too. Tremendous. Yeah. A bit mm. of a Leicester theme, obviously. So, um, I mean... that Leicester? Uh, it's yeah. sponsored by Leicester. It's sponsored by Leicester, <laughs> so it's going to have a bit of a Leicester theme. <laughs> Quite a strong Leicester theme, really. So, how are you feeling about all this, Jeff? As a Leicester uh, City fan, I see you're, you know, you're being fairly stoic about it all, um, but um, what do you make of his departure if it does happen this week? Well, it's, the, it's a football food chain, isn't it? I've talked about this many times. You know, you can't you can't complain about other clubs poaching the better players and managers when you go and do that yourself. Um, so, you know, you can't you can't have it both ways. Listen, what he did last season, he he took over after let's you know be honest, an unexpected relegation. They weren't even expected to be in the the relegation battle, let alone go down. But they were. They had a fairly chaotic, poor pre season. 31 wins, 97 points, second highest scorers, tightest defence. Um, you know, there were a lot of chins on the floor after after relegation, a more progressive style of football. So you have to sort of tip your hat to him. And they, they won the title and they've got back. So they did also lose 11 games. They were beaten by teams QPR, Bristol City, Millwall, Plymouth, Blackburn, with the caveat, with the greatest respect, um, so it wasn't all plain sailing, but um, as as the ginger post, he says, why don't we do a complete switcheroo? So Maresca to Chelsea and Pochettino to Leicester. I'm not. I don't think that will happen. <laughs> yeah, I, that will yeah. I mean, I watched Leicester against Chelsea in the cup, and they got back into the game because of a staffed own goal, and they got back to two two. But ultimately, they lost. And I remember thinking. I'm not impressed with this team at all. I mean, to me, they look like they're really going to struggle if they come up. So, I don't know. That's my only Were there extenuating now. circumstances that day, Jeff? Um, i trying to remember. I don't think... I, I'm trying to think what... I mean, you what, weren't what, particularly what, weak or had loads of injuries or... No, I, think there were, I actually think there were a few changes. I don't think mm. it was necessarily the, the, the full first 11. Andy, did you see the Leicester-Southampton game towards the end of the season? No, Where, I didn't see that. Leicester beat Southampton 5-0. Didn't see that, no. Yeah. So there have so, been, I mean, yeah. a few Leicester fans have been on to us today saying that they played, at the times they played some really good stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, just reading some of the comments from fans, not sad to see him go, mission accomplished, but boring football. Fans feel betrayed. Sad to see him go. Let's look at Carlos Corboran. Similar style to Maresca would be Potter or Corboran. Disappointed he's leaving. Genuinely believed he could get us back to where we were three or four years ago. Potter ticks all the boss, uh, boxes. It's mm. great. No more slow, boring football. This could set us back years. Not sad he's leaving. Carrick or Potter. Uh, take the £10 million compensation and move on. Moyes will give Leicester a chance, even with a yeah. points deduction. Not bothered if Enzo goes. Thanks for taking us up. Potter, Corboran or Cooper. And someone says, Moyes, Potter, Edwards or Rossini, don't mind, but not Corboran or Wagner. So mm. it's just a, it's a very mixed viewpoint from supporters some sad to see him go some not um listen it's a risk whoever you appoint as manager i mean from, from an outsider's point of view and i listen to what andy says and obviously love his passion for his club and you think replacing pochettino with maresca it 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 does seem a bit of a strange one mm, yeah um so ticking all the bosses you said then that's yeah how, that's, how he's got, <laughs> that's, that's how he's got the job that's what they're doing but of that, it's an interesting. Mm. You've got Graham Potter, who's who's turned down Ajax, apparently turned down a couple of other jobs as well, mm. waiting for the right job. Maybe this will be it. Um, David Moyes is an interesting call, isn't it, uh, mm. Jeff? I mean, somebody would probably keep you in the division, get you organised very, very quickly. So there's two schools of thought these days. It's young, thrusting, dynamic coach, uh, or it's sort of, you know, old head that, that will do a solid job for you, like David Moyes. 
Well, what happened this season was a complete change in the style of football. And at times it was a bit slow and ball, boring. And at times it was incredibly impressive and you could rip teams apart like they did against Southampton. Of course, they will be playing against in the Premier League next season. Mm. So if, if someone like David Moyes comes in, then his style, they might have to almost rip up what they've done for the last 12 months and go again. And people say, oh, well, David Moyes, he's a dinosaur, isn't he? And you think, hang on, 12 months ago, mm. he won a European trophy. Mm. And he's an experienced manager and he knows how to get the the best out of players. Yeah, he came to a natural end at West Ham, but with a points deduction, as, as one of the people who, who tweeted said, you know, he, w- even with a points deduction, his experience could be really useful. Now, Leicester have had a lot of possession over the last 12 months, in probably 95% of the games, they've had more possession. In the Premier League, that's probably not going to be the case. So they might have to to tweak things around. So I think there's there's a number of good shouts. I mean, people talk about like the, the job Robert Edwards has done hmm. at Luton. You know, he got them into the Premier League and they had a real good go this season. Yeah, they hmm. didn't stay. And I think he, he's got a lot of charisma. Um, and Liam Rossini, a few people have suggested as well, I see. Yeah, I, I mean, I like Liam Rossini. Should he have got Hull in the playoffs this season? Possibly. Was he unfortunate to lose his job at the end of the season? Yeah, I think so. I think he's a, a progressive young manager. Um, from my point of view, if Leicester are getting a six, eight point deduction at the start of the season, there's a very good chance that they will get relegated. So would you be looking at a manager who maybe in 12 months time, you, you you might want to try and take them back up again. I don't know if that's a negative viewpoint or it's a practical viewpoint. So there are so many so many things in the equation for the Leicester owners to to think about if Maresca does go. Yeah. Are they going to have to sell players like Dewsbury Hall, who really did impress me? I think he's I tremendous. Think he might be off. And that points deduction mm. that's sort of hanging over your heads when you come up, we don't know what the extent of it's going to be. There were some talks and it could be more than four. Who knows? But that's not a great start for a manager. It's going to be tough enough as it is. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think that Leicester is a club that people will look at and go, you know, if you're a you're a manager, you'll say that's that's a good club to go into. They've got a training base, which is as, as good as anything in Europe, maybe as good as anything in the world. Um, yeah, they have had obviously on field issues and off field issues with all the, the finances. They'll be hoping that they don't have to sign, uh, sell players like Ken and Dewsbury Hall because he's a he's a very talented footballer. He's had an excellent season. It's another 12 months in his progress. Um, they might have to before the end of end of June, uh, but then it because they're in the Premier League, it might not affect the points deduction that they would have got if they'd stayed in the in the championship. But then if they go down in 12 months, they might get a points deduction in 12 months' time if they get listen, there's so many things that are still up in the air, but I think you've got to try and keep hold of those good players. Harry Winks was excellent as well. Yeah. I still think Jackie Vardy can do it. You know, still 20 goals last season. Um, you know, when they when they play to to his strengths, mm. get him running onto the ball. He, you know, he's he, he's still a, a key player. But but Dewsbury Hall was excellent in terms of his goals and in terms of his uh, assists and all round game. So I I think there'll be a lot of managers to look at Leicester and go, yeah, I'd really like to have an opportunity there. Nice one, Jeff. Good to talk to you. Yeah, thanks, thanks very much Jeff. for that. Cheers, boys. See you Thursday. There we are. There's Jeff Peters. You can keep reacting uh, to that news. It looks like Enzo Moresca is going to be the next Chelsea manager. Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.